Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture we're going to look at the fundamental theorem of line integrals. You can think of this as an extension of the fundamental theorem of calculus, which said if we wanted to compute an integral, we just need to look for an antiderivative of the integrand, and then evaluate that at the endpoints. The same thing applies here. We want to be able to compute an integral of a vector field over a curve, and we'd like to do that by just evaluating some sort of antiderivative, I'll put that in quotes, antiderivative, at the endpoints. And it turns out that the kinds of vector fields we can do this for in this case are the conservative vector fields, and the antiderivative, that I'll use in quotes, antiderivative, is the potential function for that conservative vector field. And this is known as the fundamental theorem of line integrals. So what it says is that if C is a smooth curve, given by the vector function r of t over the interval a to b. And we assume that f is a differentiable function of two or three variables whose gradient is uh, given there by grad f, and we assume it's continuous on c. Then integrating the gradient along the curve can be found by taking the value of the potential function at the endpoints and taking their difference. So this is a natural extension to the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is written above. So we're sort of thinking of the gradient as this kind of derivative and the antiderivative of it as the potential function. So how are we going to prove this? It turns out it's just a consequence of the fundamental theorem of calculus. The way we're going to prove this is we are just going to note that if we take the derivative of little f far of t, So the way we do this is just a function of t, so we can use the chain rule to first work out the derivative of the outside and then the inside, so this becomes the partial derivative of f with respect to x, dx dt, plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y, dy dt, plus the partial derivative of f with respect to z, dz dt, so we're assuming here that it's uh, three variables, but if it was only two variables, we just wouldn't have that last term. And this we can write as the gradient of f dotted with r prime of t. Because the gradient is just the vector of partial derivatives, f sub x, f sub y, f sub z, and r prime of t is just the vector dx dt, dy dt, dz dt. So this is just the dot product of those two. And so what that means is that when I'm interested in computing the integral of a gradient over some curve, that that is shorthand for the gradient r prime of t dt, and we just worked out that this integrand, this dot product, is the derivative of something. It is, in this case it's the integral from a to b, but that is the derivative of f of r of t dt. And so to integrate the, an integrand which is the derivative of some function, we just have to work out its antiderivative, but I'm staring at it. It's staring me right in the face. The antiderivative of that integrand is f of r of t. And that's going from a to b, so we can evaluate at the endpoints. f of r b minus f r of a. And so there we go. What we have is that the value of the integral can be computed by working out the value of f at the terminal point for the curve and taking away the value of f at the initial point of the curve. So all we have to do to evaluate this line integral of a gradient vector field is we just need to work out the potential function of the vector field and evaluate at the endpoints of the curve. So this is completely independent of the path, completely independent of how curve C is going from its initial point to its terminal point. All we care about is where is the path starting from, where is the path or curve ending, and work out the potential function at those two values and take their difference. 
So this is our natural extension of the fundamental theorem of calculus, and this is therefore the fundamental theorem for line integrals. So again, this is only for vector fields that are conservative. And we've seen a conservative vector field. In a previous example, we saw the gravitational force field is a conservative vector field. So we can recall that this gravitational force field given above is the gradient of little f where little f is given by little m big M big G over the magnitude of x. In other words, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So this means by the fundamental theorem for line integrals to get the work done, we just integrate over the curve of our vector field dot dr, but in this case our vector field is a gradient field dot dr. And so I can just work out the function value at the terminal point, which is 1, 2, 3, minus the function value at the initial point. So that's our fundamental theorem of line integrals. Very nice because it tells us that we don't have to go with a parameterization and worry about what curve it is. I just need to know what is the potential at the terminal point, what's the potential at the initial point, and take their difference. So this is going to be little m, big M, big G, and then it's little f. So that's, I've already factored out the numerator, little f, and the other part of little f is 1 over the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So that's 1 over root 14 minus 1 over 1, or just 1, and there we go. There is the work involved in uh, having this gravitational field move a particle from a point 1, 0, 0 to a point 1, 2, 3. All right, so this is an example of the fundamental theorem of line integrals. What we are going to do for the rest of this section is explore a little bit more about what are the properties of conservative vector fields, how can we determine whether a vector field is conservative or not? Because if we can find out that it's conservative, it's much more straightforward to work out its integral using the fundamental theorem of line integrals than it is to do a parameterization and integrate the way we did in the last section. And then lastly, we will finish up with a couple of examples. All right, we'll see you in the next video.